He's on. You're on. Get him up, Maddie. Get him up the bank. Oh. Quick. Oh. Oh. No, no, no. Quick. Got him. You are joking. Yeah, everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Explore Life. On this uh, little episode, we're taken uh, all from Kununurra and heading up to uh, the famous Lake Argyle. But first, first, we've stopped in at Nav's house. What are we doing? Well, we're gonna take Maddie from behind the wheel and put him on a horse, that way he can experience a bit of real horsepower. <laughs> I am absolutely atrocious. I've gone round in a circle once. Horse is actually not quite my thing, but I'm very keen to learn. So we're going down the back now to chase the horses and uh, I'm hoping to get a little bit more comfortable on them because uh, me and Nav are going to do a mission on That's horseback. Point, yeah. We might not be going very far in, if into, I don't learn to ride. <laughs> <laughs> so stay tuned, it's going to be a fun couple of days. This could be uh, very interesting. If you've just joined us, make sure you hit that like button. Shout out to all of our subscribers, we appreciate it. Let's go. Hey buddy. All right, so where's the steering wheel? All right. <laughs> <laughs> this is your steering wheel right here. Oh, perfect. You've got to learn to put this on, otherwise you won't be able to catch a horse. So, got the halter. It's a bit like dealing with a G-string. It looks like there's nothing to it, but there is actually a way it goes on. Roger. You grab this double strand up here, and that goes over the top of the nose. Yep. And then this one here comes around the back, and that ties up here. This is your halter. This is just what you used to lead it around with. And then we'll go and try and change it out for bridles. And then you can buck it out. Oh, walk it out. What's this one's name? Bambi. Bambi! Arabian? All your horses are Arabian, eh? Yeah, there's a couple of cross. But yeah, mostly Arabian. You can hop on this one and bear back if you like to ride it around. Yeah, no. Nah. warm up. No, nah, that's all right. No, I'll give that a swerve. <laughs> <laughs> when Maddie's behind a wheel, there's not much that can put him outside of his comfort zone. So, we're putting, taking the wheel away and putting him behind some real horsepower. To see how he goes. This is something Matty's not used to, so it'll be good to see. That's it. When you want it to woo, lean back and pull the reins a little bit, just a little, just, just a little bit, just just so she can feel it in the saddle. She'll know that you're leaning back a little bit because your weight goes backwards. Isn't that right, Bambi? And then she'll stop, and then you just give a little command woo. Walk on, little squeeze, and she'll carry on. What do you reckon? Completely different to riding a motorbike or a car or. Very different. Riding off into the sunset. And that was the last we ever saw of Matt. Then you just, just lean back a little bit and just use your hip. Use your hip. That's it. That's it. It's yeah. bloody scary when they get going. <laughs> it's a, it's you don't a, have control. It's not like a motorbike. It's a completely different feeling having a live animal underneath you that you, you can't really, like, it's got a mind of its own. Yeah, so just gotta <laughs> the aim is to learn how to control, control it without causing it stress. <laughs> How you feeling, Matty? Getting there, getting the hang of it slowly. You do look like you're getting your confidence up, which is good. Got to just be a bit bossy. And be, just remember, be bossy. So that'll do today. We don't want to do too much. Um, you don't want your legs to get sore and have something happen, and then you fall off and then hate the horses forever. There's a few things that are sore at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, that's good then. We won't thrash it too much. We'll give her a squirt down, wash down, and then uh, let her go. Sounds good. Sounds good. Happy days. It's like washing a car, isn't it, Matty? Therapeutic. Yeah, just like washing a car. <laughs> yeah, this one eats grass while you do it. Right, oh, no. well, after our little horse ride this morning, mate, we uh, we couldn't help ourselves. We quickly went back to my camp, threw the little tinny on, and we raced up to Lake Argyle. So we've literally just rocked up to Lake Argyle now. We bought a couple of bags of ice, a couple of bottles of water. Um, we got a wake skate in. Yep. The tocks are already out there on a, on a, on a bit of a pontoon boat. We got some snags that we made the other day. <laughs> so we need to grab a loaf of bread. Don't forget that. Yes. And uh, basically, we're gonna head straight down to Lake Argyle. Give you guys a little bit of a look at Lake Argyle, it's a bit of a stellar day. There's a little bit of cloud coverage, but 
That's a good thing because it cool. is yeah, it's so hot. hot. Yeah. <laughs> it's so hot. If you are coming through the Kimberleys, the uh, Lake Argyle is one of the most spectacular things to see. It is it's very, very different to whatever you'll ever see around the world. You've got this extremely dry country and then this huge span of fresh water, Massive. crystal clear. Massive. Massive. Surrounded by red rocks and islands that pop up in the middle that are basically the tops of giant mountains. When it's full, if you know Sydney Harbour, when it's full, it's about 40 times the size of Sydney Harbour. 40 times. 40 times the size of Sydney Harbour. And it is the largest lake held by the smallest wall in the world. The wall is only 300 metres long. We'll go and have a look at it. 320 to be exact. We'll get, when we get in the water, we'll show you it. It's only made by clay and rock, so it's extremely cheap and it holds an incredible amount of water. It's very impressive. Anyway, enough of us dribbling. Let's go boating. So guys, there is an absolutely epic caravan park here, which we'll show you this afternoon with uh, one of the most impressive little infinity pools overlooking the lake that you'll find uh, anywhere around the Kimberley. Activities galore, helicopters, canoeing, party boats, uh, house boats. You can hire tinnies. You can do absolutely everything here. Fish. Fish, big catfish. Big, or as big. they call them up here, silver cobbler. Silver cobbler. A little bit of a tricky one, but uh, a bloke was trying to do barrow breeding up here and uh, sort of gave up because it all got too hard and too expensive. So he started breeding catfish. As you can imagine, he wasn't selling too many catfish, was he? Now the no, old fish and chip no shop. One wants to, who wants to go to the fish and chip <laughs> shop and get eat catfish? So he changed the menu and uh, and called it silver cobbler. So you fish and chips silver cobbler. And now it sells like crazy. Tripled his profit and uh, he's still in town serving Ridiculous. silver cobbler. So if you get here now, it's a bit of a thing to come and try silver cobbler, which is just. It catfish. is actually really nice, guys. The flesh on the catfish is is a bit like um, it's not flaky like a fish. It's it's more like a meat texture, so more like a chicken breast type thing, Cook like a very soft chicken thing. breast. Yeah, it's very, it's quite dense, mm. but lovely. Oh, well, she's a pretty uh, wild little boat ramp. We just dropped the tinny in then. You gotta park the trailers on the hill, put a couple of rocks behind the wheels. <laughs> Typical land cruisers, but we're on. This place is absolutely stunning. And yes, I'm sporting the world's worst moustache. Woo! Let's get on the water. Look at this place. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, how good is this? There's a couple of tour boats back on the water there. And these are the houseboats that you can hire. This would be fun. A little tinny tied up to the back of that. Sat out on the water for a few oh, days. Imagine. That'd be a good time. The good thing is, it's all fresh water. There aren't any crocodiles. There's freshwater crocodiles. Um, I think there's about 25,000 freshwater crocodiles. But don't be scared because they don't eat people. So you're right, they only eat fish and, and yabbies and things. I think one person has ever been bitten, but he, he jumped off and like kind of landed on one. And it just like hit him with his teeth, basically. No one's it. died. No one's died. That's amazing. No one's been eaten. All right, let's see if we can find the tox. Let's go! Very good, little jump and rock over here. And uh, doesn't matter how old or young you are, there's everything from little tiny ones right up to sort of bigger cliff jump. I reckon that is like 15 meters. 15, yeah. So yeah. much fun. 45 meters deep, the big, deepest part of the lake. What do we got here? So we've got a new breed of uh, rock melon, or honeydew melon. So what they've done is they've crossed a rock melon, that's why it's orange, with a honeydew melon. So you've got the yellow outside and the orange inside, which is extremely sweet. It's a new breed, only first time this year to try it out. And let me tell you, it is absolutely delicious. Far too delicious for you. No, I'm not kidding. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> Better than rock melon.
All right, so we've just pulled up uh, over here on, on the side, probably about 200 metres up from the dam wall. And you can see it here. We'll get a little bit closer in the tinny so you can see. But basically, you've got that, that bloody mountain range, that mountain range, and just a huge hole in the middle. So what they did is they loaded that with dynamite. Now I'm not real sure, but I was thinking it was like one of the biggest explosions. Well, well it was one of the biggest of its type um, at the time, like a million pounds or something. It was huge. Americans came over and did it, so you can imagine it was ginormous. They dug holes into the mountain and just like chock a block, Boom. chock a block, coyote tunnels or what do they call them? And just let it rip, yep. blew up the mountain, and that's all the rocks that they used to build the dam wall over there. So you can you can see the big hole where they've taken. A big chunk out of the mountain and then you can see all the, the the rubble and debris that's that's basically been left here so we'll we'll putt over and give you a closer look on that and then we'll run down to the dam wall and we'll pull up alongside the dam wall for you how good's this out on the water the temperature is incredible little wake skate yeah the 20 i didn't think it was going to get me up geez that was close Pretty wild. We made it back to camp. This is where you want a quick, easy awning to get out of the rain. The rain looks like it's just stopped. That was uh, it got pretty chaotic for a while. I don't know where these people are next to me, but um, that's what happens when you got a very average awning. <laughs> and the poor oh, buggers no. have left their left their um, flies oh, down as well. Done. So their bed is going to be absolutely going to hear about this. We're going to hear about this tonight. But um, yeah, it's not worth. Oh, we better grab that. Oh, shit, get it. Jesus, All right, we, we might pack this away for him. He freshened up. Nav's trying to uh, knock some water out of his ear hole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, got it. <laughs> what? Um, we're going down to the pub tonight, or the restaurant, for a feed. Should be good. Because I didn't get, I didn't get any cobbler. So we're gonna go down with the whole crew, both families, and we're gonna have a, a nice little feed. Mm -hmm. And the best thing is tonight, I'll be able to sleep in the rooftop without sweating mm. my absolute socks off. Yeah, because it was pretty, it was pretty last awkward. night. Cuddling together last night, they were sweating, buddy. Oh, People, terrible. I need I kept telling Matt to get out. And People. Get... <laughs> 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 oh, that'll do. Me. Good morning. What an absolute stellar morning. It is hot as buggery yeah, it's already. Swimming. It's absolutely ridiculous. I'm getting out of Kananara, mate. She's getting too warm for me. I'm going to be a puddle on the ground in a minute. <laughs> so, not, until, not until you catch a barra. That was the yeah. promise you made. No, nah, stay tuned because we, we are heading away this weekend to get a barra. Right now, but heading down. Coffee time. And uh, then we're going Swim. to the pool. Yep. And it's, it's 7 o'clock in the morning and we need to get in the water. <laughs> What a way to start the day. Wait till you see this pool. It is very impressive. It's like the most uh, picturesque, probably. Got to get infinity, the shot, mate. Picturesque infinity pool in, in Australia. Got to get the uh, <laughs> got to get the Instagram shot. That's it. All for the grand. I'll get Nav there, smile, and he's got his best bikini on. He's ready to go. You wait until you see it. <laughs> so peaceful here. Have a look at the view. Oh. <laughs> 
Fresh coffee on the go. Good to go. Now look, I told you we we're going fishing this weekend. Change your plans. We're yeah. going fishing. We're, we're going to go fishing. home, drop the boat off, uh, quick pack up. We're going fishing. Done. Sounds good. We'll see you fishing. <laughs> that was easy. Oh, good morning. It's a little bit early this morning. It's still absolutely pitch black. It's 3.30 in the morning. Now, we got back from Lake Argyle. We had to run a few errands. There was a couple of things around the farm that we had to get sorted. So we uh, didn't get it done yesterday afternoon. We didn't head out fishing, but we've woken up early this morning. So Nav's coming to pick me up now, and we're about to run out to uh, the secret barrow hole. I am praying that Nav <laughs> has actually is actually going to put me on the barra. It's not a good start. He told me to be up at 3.30. It's 3.45. I'm just about to uh, get the rest of the fishing gear out. Hopefully he's here any second. I need to catch my first barra. I'm excited. <clears throat> I'm a little bit nervous. Let's see how we go. Should be a hell of a day. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Let's go. 4.20. 4.20, we're in the car. I was abusing you on GoPro at 3.30. Are you actually? Yep. Oh, no. Oh, no. So Nav's decided to have a sleep in on fishing day. Oh. And uh, we're off him. That's the worst Absolutely thing that off him. That is the worst thing that could happen. Oh, poor old Tox probably up early as well. Oh. So uh, we've we got, got the crew, Ollie's in the front. Hey. We're in the ringer's car today. Let's go fishing, eh? I mean, all the bar will probably be bloody Gold by the time we picked up another couple of stragglers along the way. Ant and Brenna here with us. We uh we finally made it out to almost where we're going. We've just stopped off at a little little uh secret spot here. Everything that we're doing at the moment is secret squirrel, so unfortunately you don't get to find out where any of this is but we're going to catch a little bit of bait chuck some liveys on the hand reels get ourselves a barrel righto well we got down to the uh Secret fishing hole, you gotta be quick to beat Nav in the water. Let me tell you, he's already got one and a half <laughs> hand lines in the water. But liveys, straight on the 100 pound hand line. Hoik him in, no fingers way crossed. Jumping on. I got three hand lines in with liveys. And I might go get a rod now and rig it up with um, a little vibe or a gold bomber. And, have a flick along this bank. <laughs> oh no, it's still good. Oh, get in, you dog. <laughs> get him, Eddie. Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> you are joking. I did not think I was going to get one. Oh. Woo! <laughs> oh, you are kidding. Yes! My first barrel! Yes! <laughs> Woo! Oh. When he jumped, I thought I lost him for sure. I was about to cry. That's not bad size either. Oh, I'm stoked with that as me first. Yes! On your Nabsy, you actually came through with the goods and put us on the spot. <sighs> Happy days. You're joking. Well, there he is, me first barrel. It's about a 75. Sending me, I reckon, so I thought you were going to get like a 40 or something, you have to make go like everyone else does. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we are eating barra for lunch, don't you worry about that. About 78 centimetres. Oh, right on the this, limit. This only goes up to 75, and it's not quite another five, so it is. Well, wait, you, you're not far off another five, are you? You're probably 79, 78. 78, 79 centimetre barrel, as good as it gets for me first <laughs> one because it's legal. Better. <laughs> so you can go from 55 to 80, and uh, that's probably a centimetre shy of 80. Woo! Yeah, baby! That's lunch. Yes, it is. <laughs> and dinner. How <They're> good. <laughs> Yeah. 
He's on! You're on! Where is it? That good jump! Oh, you got him, Matty. Come on. Jump! Where is it? Where is it? Nice, no, he's coming towards you. He's coming towards you. He's going, oh, another 80. Get him up, Matty. Get him up the bank. Oh, get him up. Oh, quick. No, no, no. Quick, grab him. Grab him. Grab him. Oh. Yes. He unhooked on the bank. That was die straight. Good save, Navi. Oh, there's three of us diving in the mud trying to get him from going back in the water. Another same size for almost 75 again. 75. Oh. You're joking, on the rod too. How's the shoulder? Good. Yes, too bad. <laughs> that well, was they both sick. just ran down to the water. <laughs> How good. Oh, you're joking. I could see it was only like just on the tip of his lip too. <laughs> yes. Team effort on this one. We might have to go arms on this one. <laughs> Get the dog. Let's skull him before Skull he drag him. Skull drag him. <laughs> Proper skull drag quick. Oh. Don't lose him. Oh, here he is. Oh, he's a good size too. Oh. <laughs> Little takahaka. Oh, that's a good looking fish. That's a fat fish. Oh, what do you reckon? 65? 60? 60. Uh. Beautiful. Yes! Right, that's a, that's a the barrel of fit. turn we are on! That's it. <laughs> yes! That's a oh. lovely, that'll be a really good tasting fish. Oh, that's, that's proper good. Good colour. That is a beautiful looking fish. It's time to head off. I've gone off to chew. Successful little mission. Three bar. Yeah. Three Gotta be bar. happy with that. Three Definitely. good bar. You can't, you can't be, you know, you can't beat it. Three good bars. Plenty for the fridge and some for the freezer. I got my first bar, so I'm stoked. Oh, I would have been happy with a, with a 30 centimeter barrel, but I got a, <laughs> an 80 for me start. Is just that's that's that's, that's, that's the reason I'm up here. That's the reason I stayed so long in bloody Kununurra. So I'm stoked. He's leaving tomorrow now. Yeah, he's off. I'm done. I retire. How yeah, good? What are we on now? We're gonna drop the tinny in this afternoon. Yeah, we might head off to have a look at a butterfly cave on the way back. There's a nice oh, little yeah? spot there. Yeah, a little spring. Have a quick little freshwater swim. Oh, perfect. All right, quick little uh, pit stop on the way home. Butterfly yeah. cave and swimming hole, I reckon. Oh yeah, should be a little swimming hole just in here just to rinse off that salt water and a bit of mud. Get and the mud off the us. Feeling of barras. Get all the barra blood. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. This yeah, is yeah. beautiful, actually. Yeah, that's right. Jeez, yeah, it's hot, yeah, but it's hot. looking forward to a swim. Nah, <laughs> If you've been following along, you can get uh, what they call the soap bottle off of it. Now I've showed us this trick a couple of weeks back. Yeah. I'll give you. We've got the little swimming hole here. I'll give you a look. Little green stuff off the off the leaves. <laughs> yes. Natural soap. Get that in ya, smelly bugger. <laughs> he stinks. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, we're all refreshed. I think the plan for this afternoon is head back. And we're cooking up some barra. Barra. <laughs> <laughs> right over, we just dropped the boys off in town. We're uh, just going to stop in at a little swimming hole on the yep, way back. Nice little freshwater hole, I reckon. I think there's only one thing to do with your first barra. Well, we're not actually going to use my barra. We'll probably use your barra, <laughs> yeah, but close smaller. enough. It's smaller. We'll use the smaller one. We're going to get a little fire going. Yep. And uh, just throw it whole straight on the coals. Straight on the coals. As is. Yes. Take it off, peel the skin back, salt, pepper, and a couple of chili flakes, and job done. Thank you, mother, for the rabbits. Someone heard we caught fish. Look who hopped in the back seat. What are you doing, Ashley? <laughs> All right, so Ash is also coming to get a feed with us. Fair <laughs> enough, too. Never, fresh never, barrier. Never, you can't go wrong. Swim. Swim. Swim and fresh barra. All right. Now she we're on our you, way to the water hole. She heard you were cooking, so she's like, oh, I've got to come and try this. <laughs> yeah, she's sick of nerves cooking. So now you have to cook. <laughs> Righto, just going past the cotton farm. We've got to get this fire going. So this stuff here is as good as newspaper. Look at that. That'll get the fire going. We'll grab a little bit more. So normally this is something we might do for fun. 
is try and find some fire sticks to light a fire but we drove all the way out to this little beautiful little swimming hole and we actually don't have a lighter there's no cigarette thing in the cigarette plug we don't have any jumper cables to, to go off the battery we actually have nothing to start a fire so we have to start a fire from scratch well, which we got cotton which is kind of cool but at the same time we kind of just wanted to get a fire going and eat the bloody wanted, thing and it's 40 the... degrees and we want to sit in the water all right let's make it happen let's so now we're gonna have to actually start a fire using whatever we have so lucky we maddie jumped we in the paddock and got some cotton yeah that'll help the situation well had a good look can't find any fire sticks however i did find a bit of cable it's an old charger and luckily with the vehicle you've got 101 ways to start a fire. I use this cord what we're going to do is take a bit of this off and expose the wire and then just tap it with a bit of the cotton that Matty got and a bit of grass and that'll give us our spark and that's all you need. It'll take bugger all. Yep. Oh, we're on. Really easy. Yeah. Oh, there's a fire Quite as fun as I thought that cotton. Yeah, I thought it would take off a bit, eh? Here we go. Jesus. Destroy. To start a fire, eh? Well, there you go. Carry a lighter, but worst case. No, eh? Which we found ourselves in the worst case, not wanting to drive another bloody 45 minutes home. A little bit of wire. <laughs> Can't Off the batteries. It. Don't have a lighter. Job done. Normally you'd be able to get fire sticks everywhere around him. Of course, there's Except no here. fire sticks. We could have hunted for them, but that, that, that was pretty easy. Them. All right, let's get some hot coals going. Get it roaring. Let it. Uh, let the coals sort of simmer down a little bit, and get this barrel straight on. Hi. Oh, anyone hungry? Anyone ready for some fish? Starving. Starving. Oh, nice. I've eaten all day. Oh. <laughs> let's get her on. Right, a whole fish gut and all straight on. Straight in the coals, plenty of fire there too. Oh, look at that. Straight like that. Okay, prep oh, yes. Nice. Oh, my God. And I'll use my knife. <laughs> 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 That's not a knife. Yeah, the knife's really good for that actually. That is the knife for the Oh, that is cooked to perfection. You're having that bit? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> That's not cooked properly in the middle of either. You don't dig too deep. Do the belly side as possible. Here we go. That's so good. Perfect. Sweet. That's how you want it. Alright, chili. Chili. <laughs> chili flakes are not a bad idea. <laughs> Eat it! <laughs> mm. Yes! Cold Larry. A little bit used on the road, these ones. These are my last two. Been saving these for a special occasion. This is a special occasion. Cheers. Thanks, Thanks for catching your first batter. Yes! Oh, that, the comp good. compliments, oh. perfectly. All right, Just we're going to enjoy it. this. We're going to finish the rest of this fish. Just with Dr. Order. We'll see you this afternoon, because we're actually putting the boat in. And we're going to run up to a place called the Pump House. Righto, got back, quick shower, a little bit of a bit of a scrub. Just put the tinny on the back. Yeah, the owl mac. Going to run down. So I'm actually camped right on the the uh, Ord River. So we're gonna go straight down now, drop the boat in. Um, Nav, his missus, and uh, I think one of their nieces are coming down as well. We're going down to meet the Tox and the rest of the tribe. Anthony and the crew. Let's go, let's go. What a beautiful little afternoon this is gonna be. How cool is this to have in your backyard? So cool. Own little private boat ramp in the back here. 
going to untie the boat, get it in. Hopefully by then, Nav's here. But it was 45 minutes late this morning, so anything could happen. <laughs> Might just bloody go without him. We'll see how we go. All right, we are on the oar. Nav's just about to fall in. Right. Ash is here. Lucia is here as well. We're on. Let's go. What an absolutely <laughs> epic little way to finish oh, this God. episode. Absolutely epic crew. Big day. Massive day. Yeah, 3.30 this morning we got up. Well, got some up. of us. Some of us got up at 3.30 <laughs> well, this morning. carry on, all right? Did you get a barra or not? I got two. You got two. <laughs> That's exactly right. Big ones too. Oh, so we've made it back. We've just got the boat back on the trailer. Uh, look. Thanks for watching, guys. We've had an absolute ball this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, make sure you smash that like button. Uh, shout out to all of our subscribers. We really appreciate it. If you want to get any of your Explore merch, jump on the uh, website link below. Till next time, guys, make sure you get out and enjoy the Explore life. Cheers. Woo, see ya. Let's go.